welcome to Back to One with Brandy. Thank you so much for being here with me. I apologize for the delay of uh, uploads. I have um, part of a wedding, so it's been so exciting, but I am back home. So I wanted to go reach out to everyone in the Back to One collective and share some clarity and guidance with you. So, how are we gonna do it? Let's do a pick a pile, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these out and I'm gonna keep it PG-13, okay? gemstone piles in front of me. We have the sodalite. We have celestine. Uh -huh. And we have pyrite. ahead and consult with yourself these are three beautiful decks and they each have four cards I've done a little bit of rebel so there are some cuss words um, just for the heads up so here we go thank you Hello, Pile One. Thank you so much for being here. This is the Soliday that uh, pile. Okay, so this this is the stone helps with the throat and the brow chakra. Okay, so the qualities are peaceful, clarifying, and perceptive. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is uh, scattered energy. You can see that she's chasing bunnies. She's chasing some bunnies. Okay, and then this is a Leo card. This Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is a very fast, um, action-oriented, it's like they they don't they maybe didn't think clearly before they took off which is why it's like scattered energy but it says that you're winning okay you got a good thing going for you don't ruin that shit okay so maybe the I'm gonna grab the book real quick for this beautiful card. Okay, so in a reading it indicates communication on a large scale between different people, different countries. Messages are constantly being sent and received in a variety of methods, including wires, cables, airways, and satellites, even telepathically between minds. 
This stone actually also helps as a meteor in a peace bringer and its appearance in a reading represents the meeting of minds. Wow, maybe you're gonna get a surprise from a Leo. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe, okay? Uh, expect news that will bring resolutions and bring opportunities, but you must be ready to play your part, okay? You are not receiving messages that you expect. It may be necessary to contact others involved in this situation to keep talking about this issue. This card also in a reading suggests a state of contentment but not of isolation. This can be ideal opportunity for research and study. <gasps> That's beautiful because look, I keep seeing this too. Both these horses are pointing the same way. Horses are action. Like that's why they're telling you to, oh my gosh. You're fucking winning. That is so great. I am so happy for you, Pile One. Thank you so much for being here. Um, go at it peaceful, but don't stop moving. You know what I mean? That's wonderful. Hello, Pile Two. You must have picked the Celeste tonight. Thank you so much for being here with me, Brandy. Okay, so this stone is for your throat, your brow, and your crown chakra, okay? This is a light meditative stone. Um, let me see what else we got here. Okay, so meditative stone, we have contentment and solitude, even with like animal companionship maybe and the eight of cups okay so this card is all about he's on smoother waters okay he he has already left he's already left something behind and his waters hopefully soothe him soothe him okay hug yourself do you see how this guy's hugging himself how to hug yourself that's beautiful okay and we got eight and nine so they're going up so you are moving forward okay and oh my gosh take a shot okay don't take 12 take one okay maybe two and then move on oh my goodness you're already doing it and this is this is fine. Let me read from the book about this beautiful stone, okay? This this is a beautiful stone. Okay. Um in a reading, it indicates the presence of spiritual influences. These influences may take form of coincidences, lucky breaks, unexpected meetings, or simply a time spent in a pleasant dreamy state. This card can suggest of uplifting of a heavy mood, the improvement of difficult circumstances, and the ability to see beyond your problems. Okay, a safe nurturing space is shown and that will help reciprocate and to establish the balance calm once more. One must be cautious when this stone appears, however, not to sink too deeply into the otherworldly dreamy Heightens, heightened states of awareness must always be grounded in everyday reality if they are to be of value. In a negative placement, the stone might suggest an indication of escape from reality into a fantasy world if other stones nearby show. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have any nearby stones, but definitely need um, some space to yourself don't sink too deeply okay stay afloat don't sink too deeply 
If you don't drink, you can always take a shot of like apple cider. I do cranberry juice. Take a shot of cranberry juice. Okay, so, you know, if it makes you feel better, you hug, hug your animals, okay? They're, they are emotional beings too. Stay afloat, okay? I'm so grateful for you, pile number two. Thank you for being here with me. Okay, pile three. Thank you so much for being here with me. You must have chosen the pyrite. This is one of my favorite stones. So with the pyrite, that's the solar plexus. This is, um... This is our manifesting chakra. This chakra um, has a lot to do with um, Oh wow. Okay, so they count five, six. We have the hyphrant, which is a Taurus energy. Okay, so the hyphrants in this deck, let me get my little book. Oh, yes. Okay, so now's a good time. Like your public image. Okay, your public image could be at the forefront. This could be um, following the path that's familiar. This is um, rulers. This is, this is a card of marriage even. So, and we have it paired with the six of Pinnacle. The Six of Pinnacle is um, kindness without pity. This is about um, generosity. Maybe it's coming from a Taurus. Maybe you have a loving heart, kindness, and generosity coming from a Taurus. Or, because of the Rebel card, maybe you're giving away your power. You're a badass and you need to act like it. Maybe you're giving away your power. Maybe that's why we have the Fool, the Pyrite, okay? The Pyrite's nickname is the Fool's Gold. The Fool's Gold, okay? Let me read from the book real quick. Um, this Fool's Gold, because it shines like the sun and it can make sparks of fire. It's even powerfully spiritual of the ancestors. But it prevents from the reflecting of your true brightness. There, you must examine the spark. Oh my gosh, you must examine the spark, okay? Because um, the lesson of pyrite is to act with awareness, not to simply react to what has happened to us. Clear out the debris that clutters your life and preventing you from reflecting the true brightness. Okay, so there's not all things shine as gold, you know what I mean? Maybe you're giving away your power. Solar plexus, if your solar solar plexus is clogged or, you know, there's a blockage in it, then you're literally not manifesting. I totally suggest some solar plexus uh, meditations with the binarial beats if possible. Or even the pyrite. I do have some of that. Um, available. Thank you so much for being here with me, Pile 3. Thank you.